and send okay all right all right it's done hello battle bays or welcome back to my channel if you're new i am andrea siobhan and i'm currently a specialist in the united states army as you can probably tell from the title this is going to be a list of things you may want to consider packing when you're getting ready to ship for basic training but as always do not forget to like comment and subscribe for future videos and do not forget to hit that notification bell so YouTube alerts you when I make new videos. Now I have sloppily written everything down in my handy dandy notebook. So the first thing I put down to consider packing is two civilian outfits and a pair of running shoes and i say that because when i went to meps i had two outfits i had the outfit that i wore to meps and then a change of clothes because when you get to meps it's going to be an overnight stay so you're going to be in those clothes all day and when you get up the next day you're not going to want to put the same clothes on because guess what now you have to get up early in the morning you're going to go and sign a contract and you're actually going to ship out and do you really want to have on the same clothes? So what I did is I actually wore an outfit that I really didn't care about and actually threw that outfit away. And then I put on the fresh outfit in the morning and that's what I wore to basic. And then from there, they make you take that off anyway and put it into your civilian bag and they give you a uniform. So you don't need to take any clothes with you, but I would say to change of clothes, the one that you're going to wear two Mets and then a change of clothes for you to wear to, sh to actually ship out and go to basic. Secondly, your toiletries. So things like your toothbrush, toothpaste, floss, for ladies, your pads and tampons, comb, brush, gel. Because when I went to basic training, I did not take gel with me. I thought that that was something I was going to be able to get while I was there. And it was, but they had Tresemme. <laughs> like the little squeeze, like Tresemme. For my hair, is like water. It did nothing for me. My hair looked crazy it was just it was just bad so if you need your eco style take your eco style with you the the big jug take it with you and if you can't take it with you have your family ship it to you all right don't don't listen to don't listen to me if you want to shaving cream razors shavers all that stuff make sure the shaving cream if you bring it is non-scented uh, deodorant and lotions make sure again it's all non-scented even with the cocoa butter you want to make sure your cocoa butter actually says non-scented or no, no scent or something like that because even though the non-scented cocoa butter still has a scent of that nice smell they're not going to throw it away if you get the regular cocoa butter all because it don't say non-scented they're gonna throw it away. Anything that you bring that has a scent, they're gonna make you throw it in the garbage. So that's just gonna be a lot of waste of money. Don't take anything that is scented. Shampoo and conditioners as well. Don't have any crazy scents. Just again, stick with the basic scents. If you can, go for non-scented. Shampoo and conditioners and things as well. You're gonna to wanna to bring a few face towels, a body towel, like a shower towel as well. Make sure you bring baby wipes as well because those are really gonna come in handy. For ladies, your, your undergarments, you can bring a black nude or white sports bras and underwear. When it comes to the underwear, just get the granny panties. They have to be the regular shape, you know, panties. Can you, do you know? I'm sure y'all, look, the females that I'm talking about, it has to be the regular shape panties. No boy, no boy shorts, no thongs, nothing like that. Just make sure it's the regular granny panties. When I went, I just got my underwear from there. I got my sports bras from there because, again, when you get there, they're going to give you the opportunity to buy a few of those things. Again, a lot of this stuff you don't necessarily need to bring. But yeah, if you do decide to bring sports bras and underwear, just make sure they're black, nude, or white. For ladies, you can bring one regular bra you're going to put it into your civilian bag because you, you'll get to wear it when you graduate and put on your dress blues and they're going to want you to put on your regular bra when they're actually sizing you and putting on your pin so everything sit right when you put your uniform on i would suggest from experience bring two because you can still put them both into your civilian bag bring one that you can actually fit and then bring a smaller one because when i went the bra that i took it fit me perfectly prior to basic and when i graduated it was huge like i it was like it was just 
I would have needed to stick like tissue down there to fill it up because it was just horrible. That bra looked horrible. It was super, super huge because I lost so much weight. So you will lose weight in basic. If you're doing what you're supposed to do, you're going to lose weight. So I would suggest bringing a smaller bra as well just in case. Don't forget to pack shower shoes. Um, if I were you, I would pack two pair of shower shoes and they don't have to be anything extravagant just go to walmart and get those dollar flip-flops and those will be perfectly fine you're going to want shower shoes trust me trust me and when you get there and you don't bring shower shoes and you see how nasty some people can be you're going to be really mad at yourself two combination locks and make sure they are combination locks if i were you i would just get two two packs because you may need extra Combination locks, and again, no key locks, combination locks only. They're not going to allow you to keep any key locks. You're going to want to bring about, um, what was it? It was like $25 to $50 in cash for emergencies when you do leave the MEP station and you actually ship off, just in case anything were to happen. Not necessarily saying that you're going to have to use it because when you leave MEPs, that they're going to give you vouchers to eat with and things like that. I wanted all the expensive stuff, okay? Listen, I was eating all the expensive stuff off the menu, so my little cash and my little debit cards came in handy. Bring your glasses with a hard case because when you get to basic training, you're not going to be able to keep your civilian glasses. You're going to put them in your civilian bag. That means it's a good chance other people's civilian bags is going to be thrown on top of yours depending on what your last name is. They're just going to be thrown around. So make sure you bring a hard case for your civilian glasses. And if anybody was worried and wondering, yes, they're going to issue you some glasses. I don't know if they, so there's, okay, one second. Okay, so these are my two pairs of army issued glasses so these pair this pair right here is what you're going to have in basic training they're not that flattering i mean you see that yeah yeah <laughs> wow why are these so big but when i got here i upgraded to these so you may be able to upgrade to something a little bit more snazzy and I actually really like these I kind of wear these all the time I like these but yeah so you don't worry about oh my gosh I have to put my glasses away I'm not gonna be able to see you'll be fine they'll take care of you they'll take care of you wallet with ID bank cards and things like that whatever you have in your wallet that you think you're going to need make sure you bring it and if for some reason you don't know your routing number and account number for the account you want your money going into bring a, a direct deposit sheet from your bank. So before you even leave and go to MEPS, you should have already went to your bank and asked for a direct deposit slip. That way you have everything there. Just fold that piece of paper up, keep it in your wallet until you get there. That way when they ask for that payment information, they can, they'll have it. I hope this isn't too loud. This is just all over the place. You're going to want to bring stamps and envelopes because you're going to be writing a lot of letters back home in I recommend you write a lot of letters back home so you know you can keep that open line of communication with your family because being at basic training you don't have any communi you don't have any phones you don't have any internet you don't have anything you just have you the drill sergeants and the people that you're at basic with so making sure you're keeping some type of line of communication with your family is important and it also helps pass the time along because ain't nothing harder than knowing that life is still going on without you that was that was one of the big things for me is man you know people having birthdays people getting married people having kids all of this stuff is going on and i'm just here where time is kind of standing still for me right now i'm just here make sure you bring notebooks and things like that make sure you have an address book they're not going to allow you to hey i don't know my grandmother's address or i don't know my best friend's address i don't know my pastor's address so you're going to want to make sure you have all of those things readily available that way you have them when it's time for you, when they give you that chance to sit down and you write your letters or you're laying in your bed at night and you have a little bit of time to write those letters. You can bring a Bible and things like that. As for a few things that you should not bring, makeup, ladies, do not bring makeup, okay? Because that's going to be the first thing they make you throw away. And when I say you're going to be upset 
you're going to be upset because I was upset. When I went to basic, I was told I can take my makeup with me, but I won't be able to wear it while I'm in basic, but I will be able to wear it when um, when I graduated basic. So it would just stay tucked away into my civilian bag. And then once I got to AIT and we got to a certain point, I would be able to wear my makeup. No, I had to throw away so much makeup. <sighs> Don't bring any knives, don't bring any weapons, don't bring any pepper spray. I would advise you not to bring the keys to your car unless you absolutely need to because I had I had a battle who actually lost her keys when we all got to get our civilian bags and keep our civilian stuff and that wasn't good. I don't necessarily know what the guys can't and cannot bring because I'm not a guy, so I can't speak for you guys, I'm sorry. No magazines, no food, no no candy, no good cough drops or anything, no cough medicine, no medicines at all. You can't have that, you have to get it from there. And when you have your family sending you pictures, make sure your girlfriends and your wives, fiancés, they're not sending you sexy pictures because the drill sergeants are going to see him first and they're going to make fun of you about it and then they're going to keep it you're not going to even get to see it so make sure they're not sending anything crazy no snacks in the mail make sure your family isn't trying to send you like snacks or anything in the mail because it's contraband don't have don't have just don't just don't bring any contraband okay look at my hands look at my hands and the seriousness of this no contraband okay so as far as prepping to go to basic training i only have a few things for you if you have a vehicle make sure you leave it with somebody that you can trust or you put it away in storage yeah you may not want to pay that storage fee or lock it away in your parents or your somebody in your family's garage just make sure it's safe and it's put up and it's away as same with your furniture either sell all that stuff off or put it into storage in advance don't don't wait until the last minute to do stuff like that make sure you have your transportation and things to the recruiting office because from the recruiting office they actually gave me a ride to the MEPS office but then on the other hand a few of my battles did have to find their own ride. So make sure you are prepared for that and you know exactly what you're um, expected to do. Make sure you go to the bank and have all of your bills and all your responsibilities and things like that set up on automatic draft because you're not going to have, they're not going to allow you to use the computer or use the phone to pay bills and things like that. It's just not going to happen. So make sure, you know, all of that stuff is set up the way it's supposed to be. Check double check and then triple check and make sure your stuff is set up because the bank I had at the time I went and I set all of my bills and things up on auto draft so that way everything's just coming out of my account automatically and somehow they told me everything was good it shows in the system that automatic draft was set up for you know my stuff but it never happened so my bills weren't getting paid and it was just it was just this whole thing that you just want to avoid so make sure all of that stuff is situated right and the last thing I'm going to say is make sure your family is aware of what they need to do in the event of a family emergency and that is calling Red Cross to get in touch with you let your family know if something were to happen to someone in your family and they wanted to let you know about it call Red Cross I believe you give them your social and um like your first name last name things like that and then your social and they should be able to look you up from there then the person from red cross is going to reach out to you know um the drill sergeant the commander whoever whoever's i don't know exactly who the first sergeant commander somebody they're going to reach out to and then they're going to deliver that information to you the rest is a surprise okay you get to basic and you'd be surprised like a like a lot of us was okay all right battles that's it everything that i had on what i think you should be bringing to basic training and a few of the things that you definitely should not bring don't forget to comment like and subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell so youtube alerts you when i make new videos 
please comment down below and let me know when you're leaving for basic what's your mos where are you going for basic i'll be i'm kind of interested to know i'm kind of interested to meet a lot of my new coming in battles so thank you so much for watching this is a wonderful friday i am off for the weekend i'm about to go enjoy this and you do the same for the record i'm done trying to make y'all comfortable right. for the record you ain't trying to grow them stuff for you